Hi, I'm your host, Brandon Kirkley, and welcome to this week's edition of Niner News. This week, we take a look at Niners on the Weekend, the Sugar Glider and Brandon Kirkley and the Firecracker Show in After Hours, and the hiring of the new men's basketball coach, Alan Major. But first, here's a look at the gallery opening in the Union for Sanskrit's release of their new magazine. Hi, my name is Karen Pierce. I'm the editor of Sanskrit Literary Arts Magazine. We're here now at the gallery, 2010 gallery showing, and I'm really happy about how the magazine came out. Every year the magazine has a theme. This year it's more of like a handmade design, um, and we hope you enjoy it. Hey, I'm Joseph Pepe, and I have uh, two pieces in this year's Sanskrit magazine. Uh, it means a lot to be uh, picked because it's a very prestigious magazine. I know a lot of people see it, and uh, it's really awesome, and I'm really grateful to be uh, part of the, the Sanskrit team and have my work shown in front of so many people. Mechanical machines mutilating mental matter, previously detonating our accepted social structure. From no fire to Wi Fi, we promote the battle cry. We don't bleed blood, we leak oil when we rupture. The gallery show will be up from now until April 30th, where you can see the original artwork that got into the magazine. Major news, Niner Nation! 49 seconds of sports here, and we got some awesome stuff happening. A brand new coach, Mr. Alan Major. 41 years old, he's sweet, six years at Ohio State, three years at Xavier, and now about to have a glorious, glorious career here with the Charlotte 49ers National Championship, baby. I feel it. But moving on from that, let's go to baseball real fast. We're playing freaking awesome. We got a 12-game winning streak at home. We got three big games this weekend at 6 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 12 o'clock against the Dayton Flyers. We need to win those. And, of course, the Friday game is going to be a big fireworks fiasco. Boom! All right, Niner Nation, it's time for my favorite part of the show where we honor a UNC Charlotte student athlete for doing some incredible stuff, the Goldwire Trophy Player oh. of the Week. But today we're not giving it to a student. We're giving it to the coach, Alan Major. Yes, we're giving it to him prematurely because we know he's going to do some amazing stuff here at Charlotte. So anyway, we're out of time. Go Alan Major and slam a jam -a. Niners on the Weekend is a campus organization that encourages student life after classes get out. This past weekend, Erica Mester checked it out to see what it's all about. I'm standing here at the intramural fields today with James Contrato, who is the coordinator for the NOW Weekend events. Can you tell us a little bit about NOW and what you guys do? Well, NOW is on the weekend. They, we do every Friday and Saturday we have something going on, and it can range from anything to everything. We do um, like these outside events. We do events all in the Union. We do uh, game shows, trips. We do dance parties in the Union. We, are, uh, we do just about anything and everything. Every Saturday um, and Friday we do something, and sometimes Sundays. And are these trips expensive for students, or are they free? Uh, all our events have been uh, free for students. So if it's a trip, all they have to do is sign up. They get a free ticket. If it's something like this, they just show up and come out and have fun. What did you guys think of the skydiving simulator? It was awesome. Amazing. Can't, can't believe it. Any funny stories happen while you are up there? My glasses fell off twice, and one of my <laughs> earplugs. They gave us earplugs, but I almost hit somebody while I was in there. So yeah, it was very intense. Very cool. Would you guys do it again? Oh, yeah. The line wasn't so long, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a lot of fun for everybody. I mean, there's a huge line out there, so obviously a lot of people like it. And where else can we find information about Niners on the weekend? You can go to our website. It's now.uncc.edu. You can sign up for our listserv. Every week I send a listserv of what's coming up for the next couple of weeks. And so you can every weekend you can find out what's going on. <laughs> well, great. Thank you so much, James. Thank you. Have a great one. <laughs> a new era has begun in Shaw 49er athletics. Alan Major was named the head coach of the men's basketball team this past Monday. We turn our sights today to the athletic program, and specifically the men's basketball program. Ours is a program with a solid foundation, a strong history, a competitive conference with multiple bursts in the NCAA tournament, and a solid base of support among our fans and students. Today we deliver to that program a new leader. I can't describe how excited I am to join uh, the Niner Nation because you can feel the pride I want to thank everybody over the last couple of days for all the you know, tweets and texts and calls and Twitters and, and everything that's been coming through. Uh, I really appreciate it and uh, I'm very excited about that. Um, this program has tradition. This program has history. And, and we talked about the word history with the team and what that means. And, and our ultimate goal is to try to create our own at some point. About our team a little bit, you know, we're still, and this is day two for us, and we've got a long journey together to try to figure out who we are and what we can be and find our own identity. 
And one thing that we owe, not to the school, but also to the community and the city of Charlotte, is to be together, to play hard, to play smart, to play together to make Halton Arena a, a very, very dangerous, if not impossible, place to win. Listen up. What are your names? Kathy. Maggie. My name is Seth. Lauren Phillips. My name is George. What do you think about the new head coach of UNC Charlotte, Alan Major? Well, honestly, I think any, any, anybody that's better than Bobby Lutz is the way to go. I think it's awesome because he's from Ohio State and I'm from Ohio. And so I think it's going to be a good change. I'm very excited that he'll be here. Um, as long as the basketball programs will move forward, that's really all I care about. What song would you jam out to at a karaoke bar? Um, NSYNC, <laughs> Bye Bye Bye. Um, oops, I did it again, definitely. So it would definitely be a 90s night. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anything Celine Dion. Margaritaville. <laughs> Jimmy Buffett. Being the parrot head I am, yes. Oh man, there's a whole bunch of, of good songs out there, but I'll tell you what, if there's one song, it's an old school song, it's uh, Journey, Don't Stop Believing. I rock, yes. I rock to that song all the time. And thanks to the people, like I think like a month ago, I went to uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, mm -hmm. and that song just came on. I started uh, singing to it also, so <laughs> that's my song to jam to. Yeah. That is a fantastic song. Yeah. <laughs> have you filled out your 2010 census form yet? I have. I have filled it out. It's easy to do, uh, and I filled it out last week. Yep, <laughs> we have. My parents did it. <laughs> Why, of course I did. <laughs> I did, uh, assuming my parents did it for me. Leaving the work up to them? Exactly. That's what I did, too. And finally, are you going to watch Conan O'Brien when he comes to TBS in November? Probably not. I've never watched him to begin with, so I probably won't watch him now. Sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> Maybe. Are you not with Coco? No. <laughs> uh, I haven't watched Conan O'Brien in a long time. I probably will forget about it. <laughs> uh, so uh, I don't think I will. Honest answer. Well, thank you, George. All right, thank you. Hey, Niner Nation, you got some Listen Up questions for us? Leave us some comments, and maybe we'll use them in next week's show. This past Tuesday in Cone Center, the After Hours concert series featured Sure Glider and BKTF. After Hours and Cone University Center are proud to present Sugar Glider. <laughs> On Tuesday, April 13th in the Cone Center, Sugar Glider with UNCC's own Brandon Kirkley and the Firecrackers played on the After Hour stage. Sugar Glider was nice enough to take a moment to talk to us. Hi, Rob Benjamin here. I'm with Sugar Glider, the band. Uh, can you guys give us uh, a little bit of what you guys are about? People haven't heard of you guys before. Uh, we're about playing music. I like that. I like that. What gave you guys the uh, reason to do a free show here on campus? Why not? We like to play. I love UNC Charlotte. Uh, do you guys have an upcoming tour coming up or anything like that? Actually, yes. yeah. Yeah, we do. We're doing a, a three-week tour up into the Northeast, New York City, uh, Chicago, uh, Minnesota, uh, anywhere, we're doing anywhere. The Midwest too. Yeah, Midwest. Ow. And, uh, we're gonna be gone for a little while, and we're uh, working on some new stuff. We're probably gonna record uh, by August or so. Um, check out the website, sugarglider.com. Uh, how long have you guys been a band? Have you been together? Uh, that couple of years, couple, couple of years, years now. Since time began. Yeah. Time began. Since the, the late Mesozoic. The late Mesozoic. The late Mesozoic period. It's been a long time. Yeah. It's prehistoric. This is uh, Rob Benjamin signing out. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Niner News. Make sure you pick up a copy of Sanskrit, U Times, tune in Radio Free Charlotte, go to Niner Online, stake your claim, go Niners.